Like some of the greatest fighters have not been champions. Um, but they've almost embraced everything, and which I don't know. But it's kind of the same for me. I do all this stuff to just try and make me a better person, and I think uh, fighting is like a fast track to that. You you learn about yourself a lot quicker. How you work, how your mind works, how your body feels. There wasn't any hard and fast rules mm. to this, by the way. It was kind of trying to pick someone who's active that year. That was my only really kind of right. goal in picking them. Uh, so this was 2011. This is actually really fucking me up. There's too many shades in his face. Just to get a good range of fighters across the years. I think the whole point of the set years of USC, the the celebrating the set years from the beginning, like remembering all these fighters, all these fights, all these moments. Um, and I guess I just kind of riffed off that. It's like they all have a place in the UFC, and they all have a story. And oh my god, there's so many fighters that you could pick. Mm. Um, and these are only just a few but you do as you do them you, you learn about them and you remember them and the highlights and the low points mm. that they're remembered for um, it's really cool just to kind of learn about people well, if, if, if you'd have told me in October before I started this the most memorable one I'll do is Dan Seven and it's the worst <laughs> And you know, oddly enough as well, is I, I don't, don't know where it is. Yeah. Um, but it's, mm, it's getting better. I'm still unsure though. I'm still not fully confident with it. I don't know why. So, I mean, what surprised you about this one? Um, uh, how long it took me. Uh, definitely... Yeah, but I think uh, that's more the fact that I had the time to do it, so I didn't, uh, I didn't have that constraint as much. Mm. Um, but I didn't think I'd like make it last that long. I don't know. I really struggled with this one at the beginning. Really did not see it come together until like the end. Right at the end. Right at the end. As soon as I put that that dark shade in. Mm. Um, because I think the picture is quite, it's quite contrasting. Very poetic with John Jones, you know. It didn't get there until he added the dark shades in. <laughs> you know? Yeah, never really thought about it like that. He had a really good quote about fear where he was like, the butterflies are in formation. Do you like my tattoo? Oh, shit. No <laughs> way. Yeah, so, um, I heard that quote. And I fucking loved it. I, I saw it, it just made so much sense in my head. And um, yeah, my next tattoo, I didn't really know what I was gonna get. And then um, I was listening to that quote again and it made me think of the MC Escher drawing, which is this, where uh, it starts like a just random shapes and then it, it makes like this formation to like these beautiful intricate designs of butterflies. Um, it just made me think of that painting, and I was like, oh. makes sense.
them. Wow. Man, such a legend. Such a legend. You got the mustache. You got the mustache.